from the uh, United Nations. Uh, the, uh, the others, what? Uh, uh, okay. Uh, Thank you, Ambassador Powell. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Michael Stevens, and I'm the much they valued having the UN around on the streets in Wow Town. Maybe they uncontrolled it from the government or uh, uh, from... Uh, the challenge now is to ensure that a piece of paper uh, becomes operationalized, that the RPF deploys, that the consultations over modalities, uh, which have been happening already, but now need to pick up pace and steam, uh, that those uh, bear fruit, that the AU comes and presents its proposals on the hybrid court, and that that gets uh, operationalized, given the number of atrocities that are being uh, carried out, uh, that the peace agreement b is implemented, notwithstanding the rocky road it has been on, and that the SRSG and the force commander see and the humanitarians who put their lives at risk to try to support the people of South Sudan see concrete progress when it comes to lifting the obstruction on this movement and lifting the restrictions on humanitarian access. Impediments that have um, existed and have What is the most memorable feature of the trip? Um, for me, it was meeting two young girls today. Um, in uh, in Wow, uh, each of whom had been raped. One was 12, one was 13. Um, the 13 year old had been on her way to school from the POC site. Um, she, even though she had lost her home, her father had been killed and she ended up in a POC site. She wanted to keep going to school. And she and her neighbors who were helping to take care of her uh, knew that the road was dangerous, knew that there were soldiers on the road and there had been reports of rapes, and, but the little girl just really wanted to go to school. And so, so all of us who had a chance to talk to her um, could see that she lives with the shame of what was done to her. Her whole community is aware of what was done to her. Um, that's devastating for her and the people who were left in her family. It is incumbent on us in the international community to never give up on the cause of peace in South Sudan, to do everything we can to, by, by pressuring the government and all armed actors who could do such monstrous things to little girls who just want to go to school or to anybody, um, but also to put in place uh, uh, a UN peacekeeping presence that is able to be more mobile and to be more out and about, just to increase the likelihood that something like that uh, can be can be stopped. The stability that civilians are really looking for needs, needs to come. From. I and the rest of the council. That's what we take is that message of. If you give us, if, if there is a bare minimum of peace here, we will run with it. So the, 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 the message is for this government to do its utmost to create the conditions for all IDPs returned back home. That only governments can. It can help and it can uh, As a Security Council, what we can promise is that we will stay on this. We are not um, coming to South Sudan to check a box and go back to New York um, and leave UNMIS here to its own devices. We, we take these commitments very seriously. 
Um, and we have been explicit in the resolution uh, about the decisions that we will make regarding an arms embargo and sanctions if the restrictions on UNMIS are not lifted and if the RPF uh, is not able to deploy. Uh, but as I said my very first night here, we would prefer in the extreme not to get to those uh, decisions. We would prefer uh, that the uh, commitments that have been made, that if operationalized could be significant, that those be held. secure accountability for the horrible crimes that have been committed here and around the country. Today is February 11th, 2013. Well, it's confirmed North Korea nuclear test. UN Security Council diplomat says country has conducted a nuclear test. North Korea conducted a nuclear test on Thursday. South Korea's defense ministry said after a seismic activity measuring 4.9 magnitude was registered by the U.S. Geological Survey. Well, it's been upgraded. It's now a 5.1, they're saying. One kilometer in depth. The epicenter of the seismic activity, which was only one kilometer below the Earth's surface, was close to the North Korea's known nuclear test site. We've been informed by the South Korean that there's been a North Korean nuclear test, a UN Security Council diplomat told Reuters on condition of anonymity. An international nuclear test monitoring agency said the location of the seismic event was roughly congruent with the 2006 and 2008 tests carried out by the reclusive state and had clear explosion-like characteristics. North Korea, which has been threatening a third nuclear test, has informed Beijing and Washington on Monday of plans to undertake a test, South Korea's Yanya news agency reported. The isolated state, which is banned under UN Security Council resolution from developing nuclear and missile technology, did not make any immediate comment. North Korea is not prone to seismic activity and it may take hours or even days to determine officially whether a nuclear test has been conducted. South Korea's defense ministry said the North Korean seismic event could be the result of a 6 to 7 kiloton or stronger nuclear blast. North Korea's president, Lee Mung Bak, called a National Security Council meeting for 4 o'clock GMT time. So that would have been like an hour ago. It's currently 11:12 p.m. Central Daylight Time. North Korea 
successfully launched a long-range rocket in December in violation of UN resolution that banned it from developing missiles or nuclear technology after nuclear tests in 2006 and 2009. It announced plans for a third nuclear test in response to the sanctions imposed in January after the rocket launch, although satellite imagery indicated it had been readying its test site for more than a year. And this is the same image that I showed you from Google Maps. So it is confirmed they had a nuclear test. Now remember, South Korea has threatened severe retaliation if they did such a test. This here is a live image of Seoul, South Korea. Um, I'll give you a link if you want to watch and if you happen to see people suddenly panicking and running to underground facilities it might be an indication that something is going on. Alright, bookmark my site. I'll keep everyone up to date. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all. Bye.